here's the thing. All learning is state dependent. All learning is state, state dependent. dependent. This yep. is the thing. Information combined with emotion becomes a long-term memory. We know that. Okay. And we're, we know this because ultimately, the expert's not always the person on the podcast or on stage. You are your own expert. Mm -hmm. So genius leaves clues. Okay. Genius leaves clues all the time. So when somebody's exceptional in some area, there's a method behind the magic, including for your own self. Okay. So you don't remember all names, but you certainly don't forget all names. Mm. Now, re go and deconstruct that, decode that. Usually the names you remember are names you're motivated to. Okay. You're somebody that is attracted to somebody, somebody that could be good for their business, yes. right? So yes. there's emotion there. So emotion tied to information becomes a long-term memory. Because here's the thing, you when is there like a song or fragrance or food that could take you back to when you were a kid? Absolutely. Because information tied with that emotion becomes a long-term memory. But here's the thing, ooh, back in school, ooh, ooh. back in school, what was the primary emotion we felt? Mm. Boredom, right? Bo half the room is bored, the other half is confused. But on a scale of zero to 10, what's boredom? Zero. zero. Information times emotion. If the emotion is zero, what's anything times zero? Zero. And you wonder why you forgot the presidents, the, the capitals, the the periodic table, all the things yes. we learned in school because the emotion level was very, oh, was very weak. Oh, wow. Right, that's why entertainment is so is so powerful because education, maybe empowerment is here. Entertainment is way up here because of that, that emotion. Oh. But when you can infuse emotion into the learning process, oh, and part of that is human motivation.